it's Cece and I am here today with Janelle and we are going to be talking about our top 10 favorite Funko Pops that we own personally. So before we jump in I thought it would be good to talk about our history as Funko Pop collectors. So Janelle has been collecting for a while. How many years now? Four? Four-ish? Wait, what year is it? It's 2016. Three. Yeah, four years. So Janelle's been collecting for about four years. I've been collecting for about three years. And we've been building our collections together. So we have a joint collection since, you know, it's, it's grown a lot over the past two years. It's grown a lot years. over the last two years, but it's, it's joint because we're, we're dating. We intend to keep all of them. Today we are listing our top ten favorite Funko Pops that we own. This is... I think purely just based on how they look. Aesthetics. Aesthetic purposes, you know, just the Funko Pops that go that little extra mile to make them look really special and fancy. So most of them are not here, so we're just gonna show a fancy picture for each one, but we're gonna go in order our top 10 favorite Funko Pops. So let's just get started. Coming in at number 10 is Myrtle Snow from the from American Horror Story. She's from Coven, which Overall, the all the pops from American Horror Story are really good. They're like, really fantastic. They're really well detailed. They look a lot like the characters. We considered putting the Tatler twins from, from Freak Show on because here. they're they're all just they're really well done. They mm -hmm. put a lot of detail in them. Um, I think Myrtle Snow just goes the extra mile because her hair is so fantastic. Yeah. Something about that bright orange, huge hair is just captured so well. She's just such a Funko Pop that catches your eye. Mm -hmm. I think even yeah. if we hadn't seen the show, yeah. she's still someone that I'd be like, oh wow, what's that show? Mm -hmm. Because she's such a cool looking She's pop. very eye catching. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. It's great. I love that one. Yeah. So coming in at number nine is the Wendigo from the TV show Hannibal. While he may not be the most popular pop, in fact, he can be found in bargain bins countrywide. Yeah, that's where I found most of my Hannibal Funko Pops. But he is one of the coolest sculpts, in my opinion. I think that even though, you know, Funko Pops are supposed to be sort of cute, and I think most of them are really cute, I think that despite the fact that he's a teeny tiny little figurine, he still comes across as pretty scary. He's a terrifying deer monster. He's a terrifying deer monster, and I think it just captures that Wendigo feeling from the show very yeah. well. Even if we're one of like 20 people who own him. Yeah. It was about as popular as the show, The Pops. But he's so cool, so it's okay. Coming in at number eight is Dr. Facilier from Princess and the Frog, Disney's Princess and the Frog. Mm -hmm. All of the ones from that the Princess and the Frog line, they're so cute. It's only him, Louis the Crocodile, and Tiana. Tiana and With a teeny tiny frog Naveen. They're really well done. I know this isn't the most popular Disney movie of the recent. Of the recent yeah. ones, no. But they're so cute. Yeah. Well, and when I was trying to, you know, narrow these down, I just kept staring at the Princess and the Frog ones thinking yeah. how good they look as a set. Well, and it's really, it's really great because Dis they've really stepped up their game on the Disney Pops recently. Oh, if you look at the early Disney yeah. Funko Pops, like the early Cinderella is kind of a mess. It's Dr. Facilier with his big old hat, and mm -hmm. he's such a good proportion, like he's yeah. a little bit taller. Yes. And he just looks so cool. They got the cheekbones. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that cheekbone His detail. like cutting cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a really fantastic villain. He's one of my favorite Disney villains. And I think that they captured him so well. I love his hat. I'm obsessed with it. I'm excited to see what will further come out from the Disney, the Disney pops. Movie. Because they're great. Yeah, with um, the new princesses the new with princesses, the sweeping yeah. dresses. I'm such a there's fan of. There's also, with that in that line, with the new twirling princesses, there's a new Tiana in a oh, different right. dress. In and the, that one's also really nice. In the blue dress? Yeah, the blue She's one. so pretty. From the ball. Yeah. So, coming <laughs> in at number seven, we wanted to talk about Smog, or Smaug, or however you want to say this particular dragon's name. So, he's a six-inch Funko Pop. And the version we're talking about is the, the Hot golden. Topic one. Yeah, the Hot Topic exclusive that's covered in gold. Yeah. You know, real gold. Yeah, yeah. He's, mm -hmm. he's a 24 karat dragon. <laughs> Cost our life savings. <laughs> so, 
What's really great, I think, about these 6-inch Funko Pops is that I think that they've used them very, very well. I think that they've chosen which ones to make 6 mm -hmm. inches tall very well, and I think Smaug is such a great one. Yeah. He's like, it's funny because he's like terrifying looking, but he's so cute. He's just a cutie pie. He's just a cute little dragon. Ugh, I love the detail of his scales. Yeah. Like, the amount of detail that's in his whole body is so fantastic. And the six inches ones are great because they're kind of hefty. Yeah. Like, you know, they got some weight to them too. They're just very, I don't know, I find Smog and these some of the other six inches, they're very satisfying. I, like, I feel like if someone came into our room to steal something and they got mad because all they found were these, which, you know, aren't worth a lot. I feel like I could use Smog to protect myself. Yeah. And it's funny because she wants, um, what's his name? Elliot from Peach Dragon, and he's a six inch, and then we should sit them next to Oh my to god, one they're of gonna them. be so cute next to one another! I hadn't even considered that I- Oh no. Oh no. I'm so excited now. Look, well, look out for that future Instagram photo. Oh yeah. <laughs> On the number six, uh, is another six inch pop, and the first that we're mentioning from the Harry Potter line. Not the last. No. no. Uh, <laughs> we really like Hagrid. He's just, he's just a real cutie. I think he's one of the best pops that they've ever yeah, made. Yeah. He's Period. Just, I mean, he's just, like, you look at the pop and you're like, it's Hagrid. That's Hagrid. It, it captured him so spectacularly yeah. well. I love the umbrella. I love the umbrella. No, love the That's umbrella. exactly what I was yeah. going to say. I love how big and burly his beard and his hair mm -hmm. are. Um, I love that he seems just like a little bit rounder. He's got heft to him, yeah. like Smog does, that he's just sort of, he's big and bulky enough to really feel like Hagrid, especially in comparison to the other Harry Funko Pops that are our, a different size. Yeah. It's so great to put him next to those. Yeah. Coming in at number five, we wanted to talk about Sailor Moon. And I think I should just turn this right over to you because I actually have never watched any Sailor Moon but I think that the Sailor Moon line is one of the cutest collections and I stare at it daily. So why is Sailor Moon the best one? It's just so cute. I think the animated pops are really able to look just like the characters they're based on. I don't know, I just think, okay, so the Sailor Moon pop in particular, she's just so cute. She comes with a little Luna which is also adorable. Mm -hmm. And she just looks just like the character. And I also love that some of the female pops, they have these skinny little legs and it makes it hard to balance them. But even, it's great. Even if you have a even stand. Even if you have a stand. Um, Cause they bend, <laughs> they do, what is it? The, what's the thing? The leg just bends. No, no, it's the thing, the, the Michael Jackson thing where they. <laughs> they lean? Yeah, they do the lean. They do. <laughs> they do the Michael Jackson <laughs> lean. Well, cause like their their legs stay in one place and their heavy heads lean forward. They <laughs> do. Oh my god. Uh, and she's great because her hair goes to the ground, so her hair bounces her. You don't even need a stand. She just her hair keeps her up. But she's really cute. I want them to make more Sailor Moon pops. Yeah, Funko, if you're listening. If you're watching Funko, we have a lot of suggestions we do actually. Have a lot of suggestions. Contact us. Yeah. We're on to number four, which yeah. is another Harry Potter. Uh, the Dementor from Harry Potter. I think, like the Wendigo, he manages to be both somewhat cute but also terrifying. I also think he's very popular. Yeah. I think he's a well received Funko. Mm hmm. We, uh, Janelle displays him right next to Sirius Black, and I always walk past him and I feel a little bit of concern because he looks just real enough that I'm like, eh, no! <laughs> it just, just, just brings me back a little bit too much. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, they just did a great job. And, you know, it's interesting because they went with the Dementor design from the later movies. Mm hmm. Because he, he has a more defined mouth yeah, that he doesn't that really have mouth. in the third movie. Mm -hmm. But that, that really, like, suction-y mouth with the kind of indented eyes mm -hmm. is just done really well. Yeah. He's, he's kind of a terrifying fungus. He's got one little hand out reaching for you. He's gonna grab gonna Sirius suck right off your the soul. shelf. <laughs> well, coming in at number three. Yeah. We wanted to talk about Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. 
there like a specific collection or is it just no it's part disney it's disney so it's disney but it's from pirates of the caribbean this is i think one of i mean obviously i think this because we're doing a top 10 list and it's at number three but i think this is one of the best pops that they have yeah i mean he looks yeah, so good. He looks great. He's got that little kind of peg leg. Mm. I love the way that all of his tentacles look on his face. Mm -hmm. He looks really cool with the other Pirates of the Caribbean Funko Pops, but honestly, I think he looks really cool on his own also. Yeah, he's one of those ones that like descends the quality of whatever you think the movie is. Because mm -hmm. he's just so cool. Mm -hmm. Wait, I don't understand. Like, even if you don't like the movie... Oh, you still think he's a really yeah. good pop? Yeah, I would agree with that. He's got kind of just like a... He could have kind of a generic sea monster looking vibe. But he's yeah. just so cool. Yeah, I agree with that. He looks so cool. He does look really cool. Getting down to the end here. So, coming in at second place is Harry with the sorting hat. Last Harry Last Potter. Last Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry, the Harry line didn't take number one. I think it might have been a Barnes and Noble's exclusive. But it's just Harry sitting on his on the stool from the first year with the sorting hat yeah, on, and it's adorable. It's so cute. It's one of those ones that I can't believe, but like the Dementor and that one were created by yeah. the same group because they're so small, but one managed to be terrifying, and Harry is adorable. Well, and it's also so unique because. I mean, I'm actually not thinking of another one where the pop's not standing on its feet. True. He's sitting on something. He's sitting on something. But his little feet are up on the, like, yeah. the second rung of the stool because you know, they don't reach the bottom. Teeny tiny first year, Harry. Oh, he's so cute. And the hat, the little details of the hat yeah. so he still looks like a face. It's just one, it's such a cute Funko Pop. So coming in at number one. Our favorite Funko Pop that we own, the one that we think is the cutest and the most well done just in terms of how cool it looks, Moriarty wearing his crown from the Sherlock line. There are multiple Moriartys. There's the one with Moriarty in the suit with the apple, but the, the best one I yeah. would say is the one where he's wearing the crown. It's so good. It's so good. And he has the headphones on. Oh yeah, and you can see the little detail of the oh. headphones getting tucked in. Uh, it's so good. It captures Moriarty. I love how big the crown is. Yeah, the crown is huge. Like, if you hold him, he feels a little bit top-heavy because they've made the crown so big. Not so much that he tips over. It's just the right no, amount he, of he oversize. Has his, he has his cape to keep him standing. Right, the cape keeps him balanced. When we were working on this list, the first one I wrote down was Moriarty. Yeah, yeah. Which is why he got the number one spot, yeah. I think. He's just... He's so well done. I think that the character from the show, when they did that, it was such like a... Oh, that was such a moment. It was such a moment. It was such like a visual moment yeah, and yeah. a visual costume. And they just totally were able to transfer that to the pop. Mm -hmm. And like, I would like a couple of more Sherlock Funko Pops. Maybe? Molly. It'd be and nice Gray. Have, it'd be nice to have Lestrade and yeah. Molly. And but, Mrs. Hudson. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like they will never be able to no. top this one. No. So, there you go. Those are our top 10 favorite Funko Pops that we own. I'm sure that this list will change in the future, but currently, right now, pre-Christmas time, yeah. pre-us owning these Scooby-Doo Funko Pops, which are gonna happen soon. So thank you to Janelle for coming and doing this video with me. We love talking about Funko Pops. We talk about them pretty frequently, so it just felt good to do a video about it. If there are any Funko Pop videos that you guys would like to see from us, leave those in the comments down below. We have previously done the Funko Pop tag. I have done a Funko Pop collection tour, which I am going to update January, February, so don't worry, that'll be coming. But if you have any more that you want to see, let us know and we'd be happy to do them. Anything you want to add? No, we have many, many. We have so many. We have so many Funko Pops. We have a tiny army of Funko Pops. If they came to life and they worked with us, we could take over the world. We could take over yeah. some places. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have a favorite Funko Pop, then leave that in the comments below as well. Love to hear. Mm -hmm. Always love to talk more about Funkos. Anyway, I will see you in another video very soon, and so will Janelle, probably. So, bye!